Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Wait, is this thing working? Yeah, but this is your intro. You don't sound too energetic there. Yeah, because I'm tired. <laughs> Damn, Transparency, y'all. We be, we be doing this shit every fucking Sunday. So, you know, a nigga's tired, y'all. Tired, tired, tired. You know? So. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Is it just a podcast? This is episode 32. <laughs> it's your girl star here. Anique, you know, just in case we get new hey listeners. <laughs> Oh yeah, hey new listeners Ciao Listen, This, this is mentally f- checked out Cause she, she going on her trip She don't know how to act now Hell no, I've been studying That's where my brain is at But anyway I didn't even think about that trip <laughs> But welcome back everyone It is a pleasure Once again That thing is kind of I hate when whiskey has that sour taste. Oh, do you need this? No, I don't have to plug that in. Oh, okay. okay. Later. Is this your new thing? Yeah. Oh, it's smaller. It's the same size. I just got it the, is? Yeah, I just got the same one. Oh, I thought it was longer. <laughs> really? Yeah, the other one you had. Oh, no. It's uh. the same one. Yours is longer. Pause. Yeah. That probably sounds crazy because people don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> external hard drives, everyone. <laughs> External hard drives. So, Wait, that has a sour taste to it. Whiskey? Not sour. It's like um, t- like tangy or something. I don't know if that makes sense, y'all. But yeah. So, so yeah. So with that being said, how y'all doing? You know, how y'all doing? Comment below. <laughs> Not comment below. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm Let tired. Us know. Let us know. Listen, it's been. I've been waking up real early. I don't know why is it on the weekends when you supposed to sleep in you gotta wake up at the crack of dawn so why wow, nigga been you tired. waking up early just for no reason no i had errands to run oh yeah i had things to do so you know i was about to say not you waking up early just to wake up early nah. <laughs> i mean that happens to me anyway because i mean your body's conditioned already yeah work thanks to school so that right there I'm just a person who wakes up. You know, I can't sleep till 12 o'clock or whatever it is that people do. So, I have. I could do it. Yeah, I can't do that. I start getting restless, toss and turn, and I'm like, this ain't normal. Let me get up. For I me. it's because you're a light sleeper. Yeah, but then you, uh, I think, like, once I'm up, I'm up. So for me to force you myself to go. right now? <laughs> I mean, y'all already know. I've been saying this for how many Years now. I'm sorry, about cause this. she's over here just fanning herself. Yeah, it's hot. Like, <laughs> and that and the heat is on. We got this bright ass light. We gotta get you a little fan, like one of those little fans. You know, I hate fans because the circuit is hot. And then you know the ones that you oh, like do that. Oh yes, I remember my mom used to get me them they, from Chinatown all the time. I used to I don't have know so many. Called. I forgot. I know it's a, a little fanny thing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You open it up, it's crinkled. Yeah, yeah. I used to have those growing up. You should get one for the podcast so you can fan yourself. I should, right? <laughs> I'm going to ask the gay community because they be doing the ball dances with those things. They be like... <sighs> <laughs> ask Julian. Yeah, but he's not a part of that community. Like, but maybe he knows somebody. Oh, I don't know. His, oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I feel like he's not in a, in a different kind of crowd. I ask Joel. Joel don't even be hanging out with his own community like that. <laughs> He don't. He be with a bunch of females. You right. Gay community, comment below. Let me know where I could get the... That fan, right? <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. When y'all be doing the dance. Vogan? Yeah, that. <laughs> and then if you, I love it because that sound it makes, they be like... Yeah, they sound. be like, yes to that sound. They be doing it like so effortlessly. Yeah, I was watching a good one of those um the other day on... Where was I? Was I on TikTok? And <laughs> Probably on TikTok. <laughs> they were, the guy was voguing. I was like, what? He was going in. It was beautiful to see. And then, of course, the hater, he had to come and just, like, ruin his little vibe. But it was cute. So I sent it. I was like, yo, I want to go to one so bad. I Don't they be having ballroom. some of those, like, in the city, right? I have no idea, to be honest. I have no idea. Should look it up and see. Oh, I don't know how things gonna be now with COVID, but who 
knows? Maybe they're gathering secretly and voguing with their masks on too. Too. Would that be hard with the mask on, doing all that movement, and you got to breathe? And I mean, if they could conquer dancing and doing all that stuff in those high ass heels, maybe the mask is, you know, because I could barely be breathed of uh, fucking working out. Yeah. So I can't imagine Especially like struggle. all that movement and stuff. But y'all talented, so I commend y'all. Ooh, not the hiccups. Hold your breath for ten seconds. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> or just drink some liquor. <laughs> that too. Anywho. <laughs> my plan was to wake up early and do things, but my ass was binge watching. <laughs> oh, your new show? Yeah, I finished the flight attendant. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just watch your honor because I listen to Joe Budden's podcast and he always talking about it. And I'd be fast forwarding it because I'm like, this sounds good. And then I will hear people talk about it on Twitter. So, all right, let me just watch it. Ciao. Hooked. Like, I'm surprised you didn't hear me in the room going off. Because I was watching my own stuff. Oh, I was in my room going <laughs> off. I was hitting my bed. I was it's hard just... for me to hear you in your room. Oh, really? I'm far... Yeah, I'm the farthest away from you. Oh, because I feel like sometimes you got bionic ears, so you can hear anything. Nah, I don't. I can't hear you in your room. Oh. I can hear, like, the other two, but I can't I can't hear you. Oh, child. Cause Unless your door is open. Nah, my door is closed, and I was going off. I was hitting that bed mad times because <laughs> I was just like, oh, these white people... But um, it's a very good show. Like, if you guys haven't watched it, I recommend it. I had text Jenny, and I was like, did you watch my, your honor? And she was like, no, not yet. I'm like, watch it so we could talk about this. And then I told Joshua, he's like, oh, I'm going to wait to simmer down. I'm like, it's so nine. It's yeah, I'm like, it's nine episodes out already. And then he so started watching it. So it's still on the air? Like, it's mm-hmm. still okay. So I think this, I think it comes on on Sunday. So I think today is... Probably the last episode, episode ten. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not sure like how many episodes they do in a season because mm-hmm. it's a limited series. So I told him I was I like, those. "It's nine episodes. Like, what are you waiting to simmer down?" So he started watching <laughs> it last night, and then he was sending me voice notes about it, and I was like, "See, I told you it's so good." <laughs> but um, <laughs> once you watch it, maybe we can make a topic on it because it's so like so much stuff that happens in that show that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So I'm gonna just keep well, it. Well, I guess that. anybody who watches that, they can comment below. Yeah, it's That's good. a good catchphrase. It's good. Comment below. I'm comment like, okay, below. Showtime with the good shows. The only thing I didn't like was because I watch it on Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. and like there was a lot of I was looking at the comments, so a lot of people were saying, oh, um, because it had like not mixed reviews, but like the one percent. It was a lot for one percent. I'm like, damn. So some people were saying like, oh, like why would y'all create a show like this, especially what what black people had to go through during BML last year. BLM. BLM, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, black Matters Lives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I barely got any sleep because I was been watching that fucking show. Um, so they were like bringing that up, and it was just like, um, like I get it. Like, I get where they're coming from, but I was just like, this is shit that happens all the time in the system. So there's nothing mm-hmm. new. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many shows that have came out or movies that comes out that talks about this stuff. So I just didn't see why this was such a big deal. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, we literally didn't a movie come out, American Skins, wasn't that? Like, that was uh, last month. Yeah, so it's like you have all these different shows that show like how the system ain't right towards black people. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, I don't see where y'all going with that. And then this is the thing that kills me with people when they watch shows and they get invested in characters and they compare them to the next character. Like, for example, the guy, uh, Baron, Byron Craston, he was in Breaking Bad and they kept comparing his character in Breaking Bad to this character. And I'm just like, first of all, it's two completely different shows. Mm-hmm. That's one. Two, two completely different characters. Yeah, like his mannerisms kind of remind you of Walter White, his character. Mm-hmm. But they were just comparing it like, oh, but Walter White wouldn't do that. This and that. I'm like, what? Walter this White is, was a fucking drug dealer. Like, yeah, goodbye. it was like two completely different shows. But you could tell like the way he gets like his mannerism in this show kind of reminds you of the mannerisms of Walter White. But it's like, come on, y'all. Like, let go of that character. Walter Seriously. White It's a different show. <laughs> It's it's completely different. So, like, those comments were getting me upset because I'm just like, yo, people, like, y'all just want to find anything to nitpick. Mm-hmm. And it's like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let How it old go. is Breaking Bad? That shit is a few years old. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. 
This man is doing a different show. Right. Let this character be its own. But evolution, people. That was it. But yeah, I can't wait till you watch it so we could discuss it because there's so much to fucking discuss. Well, I was watching a creepy movie last night, but then I kept dozing off. So <laughs> what um, are you watching? It's called, what was it called? Piercing on Netflix. I'll be watching weird movies, y'all. So basically what had happened was, um, sorry guys, I'm just like fixing my hair because I washed it myself for the first time. Oh, and, shit, look at you. Yeah, and it needs to be retwisted. And you know, them niggas ain't got no appointments available, so. <laughs> and they book like that? Yeah. So I was like, damn, should I cheat on my loctician and go to the salon or stay loyal? You be loyal to the loctician, right? I'm staying loyal, yeah. And plus, I don't like a whole bunch of people in my hair anyway. I was never like that, so. Damn. With that being said, uh... Yeah, so basically... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm just thinking about the movie, because I, I didn't finish it, but the the premise of the movie is this... Ma- First of all, the way it starts, I'm like, yo, I need to stop watching... Well, I didn't know it was going to start like that, but I was just like, what the she fuck? Did. Who writes shit like this? Well, actually, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. No, you know what? Let me finish. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This actor... He was, I don't know if anybody has ever watched um, Sinner. He was in the Heard of it. Jessica Biel. So that was the first one, yes. Uh, yeah, the, the first Sinner. It, Sinner is good. It's a good series. Anyways, um, so he had played Jessica Biel's, a.k.a. Justin Timberlake's wife, a.k.a. Sis from Seventh Heaven. They still married? Mm-hmm. They just mm-hmm. had a second kid, too. Mad quiet. I'm telling you, COVID, it be having niggas moving real low. Maybe we have a maybe we should have a pandemic every year. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, I could stay home and right do work what, from do home. Do what you gotta shit. do. Well, anyway, so I'm not even gonna say the beginning of it because yeah, I want y'all to see for yourselves. I guess the husband is psychotic mm-hmm. and he's a murderous psychotic individual and he needs to satisfy the urge to kill somebody so what he does is he lies Sounds to like his something you will watch it actually looks like it, 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 it reminded me of american psycho so if y'all seen american psycho then it's along those lines except mm-hmm. you know homeboy christian bale couldn't keep a girl because he didn't care about romance mm-hmm. but yeah he's like a sociopath slash psychopath so Anyway, so he <laughs> rents out this hotel and he decides that he's going to murder a hooker. And why do I always want to murder a hooker? Because they're unknown. Nobody's going to look for them. That's why. It's crazy. I know. It's fucked up. So he sets everything up and he has like a fucking ice pick. Then he pretends. So basically, his basis is that he's going to act as if he wants to do SM, mm-hmm. but. When he's pretending that he's going to do S&M is when he's going to kill the person. And I will say one part of the the um, the movie. So, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, so, the girl comes. First of all, I'm like, what kind of fucking lazy hooker is this? Because the guy, her boss was cursing her out like, oh, I haven't heard from you. You owe me money, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, so, sis. And she was like knocked out sleeping. So, I'm like, so. <laughs> I'm mad you said her boss. Like, yeah. she got a nine-to-five job. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it was crazy, because I'm just like, yo, this bitch is fucking lazy. Like, bitch, go fuck for money. Like, what are you doing? Maybe her pussy tired. Maybe, <laughs> who knows? But I, get, I think I know what it is. Bitch is crazy. So, one scene is, you know, she's... So, basically, the guy, he had this whole script mm-hmm. of how everything was going to play out. Like, he reenacted before the hooker got there. <laughs> reenacted. Yeah, he did. Up to when he um, murders her. And it's funny, because... Like, certain parts, they play the sound as if mm-hmm. she's actually there. So, it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, like, the punching <laughs> sound, you hear, like, a person who's actually punching someone. It was kind of very weird. So, anyway, so he plays out he re- plays out the whole scene in his head. And he's like, all right, we're going to reenact it, blah, 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 blah. Homegirl comes. Obviously, nothing goes according to the script. So, he's confused. And you can tell on his face, he's like, fuck, what do I do? And the girl's like, I need to go to the bathroom. So she's in the bathroom. She's so much she needs to take a shower. So she's in there for mad long. So he keeps knocking on the door like, are you okay? Are you okay? She's not answering. And she's just like fixing herself up. But she just has a shower running. So I'm like, is she nervous? But this is your profession. You're a sex worker. Like, what is going on? So anyway, when he finally 
uh, gets inside, this bitch was sitting on the tub, stabbing her fucking thigh with a fuck with scissors multiple times. <laughs> And when he went and when he tried to get closer, she fucking screamed. So then the phone rings and it's, you know, concierge downstairs. And they're like, you know, this is a booked hotel, especially your floor. And people are sleeping at this time. So please, you know, have some respect, have some courtesy and keep the noise down. Little does he know some fucking prostitute is sex worker is stabbing herself with fucking knives and she got like all these cuts in her thigh and the shit is bleeding and he's just panicking like what the fuck do I do and she's like yeah take then she's just like oh it it was just it was just a very interesting scene because as I was dozing (laughs) off because I'm like when is this shit gonna pick up and I'm like not stabbing your fucking self in the fucking bathroom you psycho bitch like what so it's like a slow pickup and then it just yeah it's, it's slow burn that's what they call them so I'm like what Anyway, I'm not going to continue. So if y'all feel like watching it, watch it. I got to finish it later on. So, because I need to know like what happens. Does he kill her? Does she kill him? I think she's on to him. That's what I think. And it's then an I was, yeah. Movie. And then the other show I was watching was I May Destroy You. Um, With Michaela Coastal. She wrote and produced that show. And I don't know if like, like you or any of you guys have seen on social media, Emily in Paris, we talked about this being mm-hmm. nominated for a Golden Globe, and then they compared it to this and, you know, the piece of body, the body of work. So it was very interesting seeing, you know, a black woman navigate through sexual trauma mm-hmm. and, you know, the kind of support that she was getting from her friends, from, you know, family, and, you know, how you just got to, like, push through because at the same time you're trying to, like, heal from this, but then you also have like a career path that you know you need to work so you need to be focused on that you know it it was a lot going on it was very interesting and then her using that trauma to become like this advocate Mm -hmm. and you know this person on social media this force so it's pretty interesting I was like okay I liked it and yeah and then Mm -hmm. Malcolm and Marie I watched that too yeah that's I saw some people didn't like it I was pretty surprised I'm like y'all reading too much into this Really, I feel like everybody was either like making jokes as if they liked it, mm-hmm. or people said it was really good. Yeah, somebody was like, "Oh, it's trash." All they did was argue, but they liked like the cinematic approach of how you know they made the movie look. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you got to look past the the arguing because there's like a deeper meaning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's surface, like it's. Clear as day, like their relationship is literally up and down and how they bring each other up and down is by saying vile shit to each other. But then at the same time, just celebrating the other person and loving up on the person. So sounds pretty toxic. Yeah, it was. (laughs) But it's interesting because it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to. Y'all got to watch it for who hasn't watched it yet. But I liked it. I think it was like a raw depiction of just a couple who really are not good for each other. But then in this weird, sick, twisted sense, they are good for each other because it's like that you feed off of that person, Mm -hmm. you know, like that. Like they're the host and you're the leech. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the leech and you're just feeding off of this person. So anyway, I ain't going to say too much. You don't sound too good. (laughs) Sound like a good relationship. (laughs) I mean, I didn't think it was. I I was just like, yo, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of just like, oh, okay, motherfucker, I'm going to one up you. There was a lot of that. And I was just like, damn, this is not healthy. But no wonder why everybody was making jokes on Twitter like, this is a toxic ass relationship. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But half of y'all be in those type of relationships anyway. (laughs) That's a fact. I have okay. a question. Do you think that people are going to need therapy after if this pandemic ends anytime soon? Like for people who are not seeking therapy? Yeah, like just to get back to regular life. I think some people, it depends on the person, I think, because some people, I think they can like mentally, some people are like mental, mentally capable, mentally strong yeah. to withstand like a lot that has happened. And then some people even and then there's other people who are mentally strong, but, you know, maybe they had a breaking point and they probably do need to seek some kind of therapeutic help. But 
I really think that's based on individual. Like, it's like a case by case thing, you know? I only ask that because um, I was thinking about it the other day when I had to go run errands. And I'm like, all right, let me just take the train, obviously, because... (laughs) I was making fun of her. She won't take the train. Yeah, don't. But, um... Because I, I don't know, the whole COVID shit and then people be not practicing six yeah. feet. Because even when before COVID, like, I didn't like people on top of me on the train. Like, I never liked that shit. Like, I used to be looking at them like, can you back the fuck up? Seriously. But now with all this happening, um, I was on a train and it's like there's no way to practice social distancing mm-hmm. at all. And I felt so uncomfortable. Like, I'm not a person who has anxiety, but in that moment, I felt a little like anxiety like I was just tense for some reason because I'm sitting here and I'm like all right I have enough space and then as more people are coming in I just felt like closed in Mm. and then I got like somebody standing over me and it's like I'm looking around the train trying to find like where I could go to have space Mm -hmm. and there's nowhere to go and I'm just like yo maybe I need therapy like maybe I need to adapt myself talk to somebody to adapt myself back into like I I guess you could say the real world because, you know, I got to start school soon, so I have to take the train. But it's just the thought of, like, being on a train. I don't know if they're cleaning this shit. Then you have... It's not like there was homeless people before, but I don't know. Like, I just feel like things are just so different that I just didn't like that feeling at all. And then when I left my mom's job, I was like, should I just take a cab home? And I'm like, fuck it. I'll just get on the train. Mm -hmm. It's only, like, two, three stops. But I was wondering, like, do... Anybody else probably feel that way that's been like stuck at home or if they do go out, it's just to go to a grocery store, do this. Mm. So now that they got to get back to like, you know, going to work and taking a train, like you can't really. Then there's people that's not even wearing a mask on a train. Mm. That's one. And people cough. It's just because before I didn't like it. I didn't like it because if somebody was coughing and shit, I would just look at them like, yo, cover your mouth. But now with this, it's like, niggas is still dying. Niggas is still catching this shit. Like, you know? So, I don't know. I pray for anybody out there that probably going through the same thing because it's not easy. For other Mm -hmm. people, they adapt to it. It's like, okay, whatever. And they go, you know, do what they want to do. Yeah. But for me, it's just not that easy because, I don't know, it's just... Like, I feel like I'm the, I take it serious. I don't know why. Because I've know somebody close to me that almost lost their life and you mm-hmm. see it all over the news and shit. Like, I don't know. I just take it really serious. So when I see other people just not being careful, it kind of just be like, really, guys? Like, come on. I mean, <clears throat> I think it always goes back to just how people have become desensitized. Like, some people are desensitized to... COVID because obviously in the very beginning, the, especially the media, they play a huge role in putting fear into, you know, people watching the news, reading the news. So, you know, when you are watching the news or you're reading it and you see them talking about how they leave in trucks outside mm-hmm. of funeral homes and body bags or leaving them on the side of the road and you see the visual You're kind Mm -hmm. of like, oh, snap. This shit is crazy. You know, because the first few months, it was very intense. And it was crazy. It was super crazy. All countries were on lockdown. You really felt locked up. Like, you couldn't do shit. Yeah. And when, you know, people... When certain countries started, like, lifting their restrictions. And then, you know, America started lifting a little bit of their restrictions... And being a bit more lenient towards stuff because, you know, the numbers were going down. I think at that point, that's when certain people were like... And then the news stopped feeding us. Yeah. Because now they don't really report it like that. Like how they was in the beginning. Yeah, there is a difference with that. So, I mean, everything is a part of a larger picture. And I think that's why some people are kind of just like, you know what... I know COVID is out there or whatever the case may be. And then now, uh, then you hear stories, too, of people who don't congregate with other people, don't go to any type of social setting or anything, and they just stay home and they They catch COVID. And it's like, huh? How the hell are you? Then false positives, false false negatives. So it's just so much, like, crazy-ass shit out here that 
it's one of those things like what 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 do I believe at this point? Some people are probably just like you know what it is what it is. Yeah. And obviously, with any type of pandemic, you know, unfortunately, you know, people will pass because disease disease is disease, you know, and everybody's immune system is very different. And obviously, when you have a certain group of people who's practicing precaution because they know that okay, I have family, I have friends that are high risk, and then you have people who are not practicing it. It's frustrating because it's like, why am I taking this serious and you're not? Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Yeah, but that's a good idea that, you know, seeking a little bit of therapeutic self-care sounds like a good idea. Yeah, because I mean, you think about it, you know one way of living that mm-hmm. you've been doing your whole life. I mean, for me personally, I always rolled in either the back or the front because it was never that crowded. Mm-hmm. So I never liked crowded spaces unless it... I mean, even when we would go to like events and stuff, like too crowded, I don't really like that shit too much. Like, I like to have a little space. Because um, I don't know, in my mind, I just always think like if some shit breaks out, whether it's the train, an event, it's like... You know, you got to be stamping. Like, it's just too much. Mm-hmm. Um, so just weird because it's like all your life you know one thing and then shit happens and then it changes. It alters your life. So then you get used to that. Say they move further away. It's probably because I'm leaning on it. Oh, Sorry. I'm like, wait, why do I feel like this table's is mad far? Um, so, yeah, you, you know, stuff happens. It alters your life and it changes mm-hmm. it. And then you get so used to that. And then to adapt back, it's like. It's it's crazy, but I don't know. I feel like the pandemic has messed up a lot of people, like, mentally. Mm-hmm. Um, some people dealt with it, and I, I honestly feel like some people didn't because they probably don't know what to do or how right. to do it. But, child, yeah, and y'all got to do better with cleaning the MTA because <laughs> when that I went to on, five is bullshit. It is because what station was I at? Was it 28th Street? I think it was 28th Street. And sis was just like you could tell she didn't want to clean that shit because she was cleaning the um the windows no the metro car like where you go to swipe oh, okay but she was cleaning the side and she was just like just not it, she just didn't care you could tell and I'm just like sis like you you missing certain areas you you was cleaning the same spot for like five ten minutes and we don't know what they're actually doing because obviously everything shuts down so it's like are you guys actually fucking Doing it intensely the way you were doing it before. No. And then obviously, like, homelessness is at a... All time oh, high. Yeah, it's high. And, you know, there's so much more homeless people on the train, more than ever, it seems. Sometimes I feel like, oh, shit, this is probably what folks was talking about in the 80s when it was just like, you know, homeless people everywhere. Because that's what it is. And it's crazy because... So much could be done it could. to alleviate homelessness in this damn country. But that's another topic for another day. I'm like, with all the taxes I pay, y'all can make resources for these homeless people. Girl, but yeah, my money is going to pharmaceuticals and the military. Crazy. That's and to their fucking pockets. Mm. Child. <laughs> I'm just saying. But speaking of politics, so I was reading about Van Jones. Oh my! I saw Amanda Sills was she put something. She went out. in on him. I think so, but I I had my sound off, and then I was obviously watching the Your Honor. So I was like, oh, I'll come back to this. So he was a guest on The View. If you guys don't know who Van Jones is, go look him up. I'm not your fucking history book. You're uh, very rude to the the listeners. You know that? I'm, I'm not rude to them. I be listening back to the episodes, and you be like, if I you don't know episodes, what that means. I, this is what it means, and you be calling them dumb sometimes too. I know what I I remember what I say. Yeah, you're a little rude. <laughs> if I'm rude, leave a comment below. What if they really don't know? Some people are not educated or, you know. I think the, the, the basic knowledge, people should know. Some people don't. Just like everybody knows two plus two is four. Maybe some, well, that little kid, didn't he say 21? Remember that remember fucking viral video? Was it two plus two? And he was like, 21? Y'all remember that viral video? No. I, I don't think I look for that. it when we stop recording. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. But um it was viral. I think that was when Vine was out. Um you know? So I mean, I give my little teaching moments here and there, but you know. Van Jones, I mean, come on. Like for people who do not know who Van Jones is, he's a 
political commentator, activist. Uh, yeah, he's a commentator. So, you know, look him up. He's bald. He wears glasses. He's black. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, what? Let me. Y'all want to see what? Wait, what? Do that thing so I can show them and I'll just go into the Who camera. Who Van Jones is? Yeah. Put your. So she's like, I'm rude to the. To no, the I'm just saying. No, you already described what he who he is. He a commentator. Yeah. So anyway, it's crazy because you know. Anyway, moving on. So he was on the View, and he was a guest. So Sunny Holston, which is a member of the View. She was interviewing him and she basically was just like, you know, the black community does not trust you. So, you know, I was dead. I was on the floor (laughs) and I was cracking up and his facial expressions were to die for because he was just basically like, huh, what? like scrunching up his face and shit because he was just like confused. And, you know, she made some valid points because she was like, you know, one minute you're over here telling us Trump is doing ABC for the black community. But because of all the other stuff he does, it overshadows his uh, doings for the community. And then you're on CNN crying when Joe Biden wins. Right. So his facial expressions were to die for because I was just like, got him. Mm -hmm. So his reasoning was that that, you know, a lot of his. A lot of things that he said are misinterpreted and taken out of context and basically defending himself and saying that, you know, the instances that he said what he said, you know, was basically out of just knowing that, yes, this man has done certain things for the community and I'm just putting it out there. I would love to know what those things are. And it's funny because when Sunny Holston, you have to see it because when she was saying she would, she quoted him too cuz one of his quotes was like yeah trump has done, done certain things for the black community he's done stuff for like you know college stuff and the key word was just stuff stuff and i'm like you can't even give a analytical comment like what is stuff college stuff what are you talking about when he was meeting up with hbcus for photo ops and they were signing shit like what what do you what do you mean so I was just like, this man, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, a, okay, it's not that I'm not a fan of Van Jones, but I walk on a very, very, very thin line when it comes to Van Jones, because he gives me sometimes, he's for us, and then he gives me sometimes that he's a coon. Like, some of his actions and his words and his commentary, it just... It's weird. It just contradicts each other. So, you know, I thought that was very interesting because Twitter, you know, black Twitter, <laughs> you know, they they went in. They were like, oh, Sony Hus- uh, uh, so- Sunny, Sunny uh, Hostin was reading him to filth. And she was like, Negro, please. And coming up with the receipts and shit. And they were having like <laughs> different memes. And I was like, you know, black Twitter never fucking fails. Like, you got to love Yeah, the it. best. They were dragging. They were praising and then Anna Navarro, she also commented and she she agreed and she was just like, you know, I remember when you were trying to do certain prison reform for uh back like for um for the black community and Jared Kushner was trying to get you fired off the campaign. Mm. But you over here advocating for Trump and what he's doing for the community at the time. So shit like that, I'm like, mm. I was trying to look up um, things that Trump did for black people. And it's funny because all of these people are putting like fat check and it's nothing that they can name that he's done for. I black feel like people. if you're going to say that this person who's at the time, the most disliked person in the communities of color, you would be prepared to come with the facts you would have. Or off the top of your head, because if you're advocating, you already know that you're at, you're advocating for a person that says a lot of crazy shit. So you yeah. should already come ready, right? Be ready so you don't have to get ready. That's what they be saying. So <laughs> I don't know if I said that phrase right. So don't. I don't know. Y'all. I think you did. 
So it's like you saying, yeah, he's done a lot of stuff, like college stuff and this stuff. Like, what are you talking about, dude? If he's done a lot of stuff, name those stuff. Exactly. Because I was sitting there looking at it like, okay, what's the stuff he's done? Like, I was about to call him a sis. <laughs> nah, call him sis. That's what Wale be calling him. Yo, I love Wale. I love Wale. And he be adding one. him too. I'm like, yo, nah, call Wale, him sis. He, Wale, he, he, he's, I remember I walked by him one time downtown. I love him. I think he is so funny. He is. So, that's that. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. I just felt like saying that because I've been seeing mad people saying that. Right, that. And I find it really hilarious. It is. And, uh, like, what made him say that? And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> like, what? And I saw Holly Berry. She had posted some shit, too. And she, her caption was, and that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Like, what? <laughs> Not Halle yeah. Berry saying that's what Mary had a little lamb. I saw that he's supposed to be doing something for the Super Bowl. Who, Wale? No, no, no. The guy that... um Justin L.A. Boy? No, no, no. Um, Oh, my God. The guy who does that with a money visage. With really? Money. Yeah, he had uh, tweeted it. Wow. Like, he retweeted. So, I don't know if it's like a show or something. Like, I don't think it's a halftime show. It's some... You know how they be doing those, like, pre-shows? Yeah. Or, I think it's, like, something so like that. So, he's, like, probably going to be a host or something? Probably. I got to look at that, the tweet again, because he retweeted... I think it was a blog or something that tweeted it, and he retweeted it and said, yeah. It's funny, because that ties into a post that I saw, and it's just, like, literally, you do anything dumb or just something that... Does it need to go viral? And it goes viral. And mm-hmm. they mentioned the young lady that used fucking Gorilla Glue on her Chad, head. Let's talk about and that. They were, and they were like how <laughs> she did something so dumb and she's just become viral over the three days and people just can't stop talking about it. Because I saw that now she like went to the hospital to um, figure out how to... Like, since you just got to go bald. That that's that's yeah, all it is. It's you done. just have to go bald. Your hair is gone. <laughs> You're gonna have to wear a wig. I hope it grows back. I saw somebody say use rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Not rubbing alcohol. I'm done. I am so done. I saw that and I was just like, like I know there are some people that just don't know better. But I'm sorry. See, now and I'm contradicting myself. But I was like, you you can't be that dumb to put Gorilla Glue in your hair. Like, girl. I'm surprised her hair didn't, like, fall out or, you know, because I obviously we've never put glue in our hair. So I'm just surprised that it just stayed. And that shit has got a lot of chemicals. It's not like regular glue. So that shit going in your scalp. Like, come on. And then I'm sure when you brought the Gorilla Glue, look at the section you brought it in. Do you see any hair Hair stuff? Hair care, exactly. Like, that's why they separate things. So, you know, unless she just took it from somewhere in the house and she was just like, oh, yeah. But I I mean, I, first of all, I watched her video on mute because I was just like, I don't got time for this. (laughs) So I was just reading the comments and the caption. And, you know, other people were sending it to me and people were talking about it. So I don't know what made her think that putting that on her head. Was going to give her that sleek ponytail look. I don't know. It's because the got to be is called got to be glue, but it's gel, but it's called got to be glue. So I don't know if she thought like, oh, I could use this because of the word glue. But it's like still in all, like you could tell that is not for hair. Glue and gel are two different words. You know what I'm saying? Like. And, and this is what I'm talking about. So, you know, back to, you know, start saying, oh, you be calling people dumb. This is dumb. You know why? Because, come on, you you don't got no common sense. You don't got no common sense in second guessing putting glue on your fucking head. First of all, you're not reading the bottle. You're not reading that. She probably just saw the glue because, like I said, got to be they name they gel glue. It doesn't say gel. It just says got to be glue. And then that's another thing. Two different packaging. It is, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's what she saw, but still in all sis, like everybody, well, let me not say everybody, because there was a point I didn't know about Gorilla Glue. I only knew about Crazy Glue, and so somebody brought it to my attention. This was like a few years back, and I was like, oh, shit, I never heard of this. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if sis never knew about Gorilla Glue, and she just thought like, oh, this has got to be glue, Gorilla Glue. Because like I said, got to be, they don't put gel. I think it's like really small, but it's actually called got to be glue or whatever. But I'm just like, 
if you went to the store and got this and you didn't see any hair products next to it, you that should have ding 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 ding. Maybe this is not for my hair. But if you just got that shit out your house, like I'm sure nobody is putting glue where they keep their hair stuff. Mm. Child. Like just how you is separated in the store, that shit would be separated in your house. But I was just like, I, but that's social media for you though. Like one thing just goes viral of people doing stupid shit, and it goes fucking viral. That's what Vine was for. <laughs> but that was like the same thing with um, like you know how they it was always that thing like why do y'all get the most uneducated person like uneducated black person to put on the news when you need to ask questions mm. and look you have all those viral people not saying that these people are uneducated but look how they blew up the guy with the hide your kids hide your wife it's like y'all knew what y'all was doing when y'all mm-hmm. interviewed him even the other lady that was like I want to go get a cold pop remember the one she's like and I got bronchitis yes. it's like yeah it was funny but it's like y'all know what y'all doing when y'all of do course. stuff like that and we've seen it plenty of times yeah like, most definitely with the news so it's, it's just cra- it's just it's crazy because it's like we letting these people go viral at what expense like why we ain't letting no educated shit go viral exactly like shit that's gonna the shit feed that our brains mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I be getting a good laugh here and there but the Gorilla Goo Girl, I didn't laugh at that. I was just like, you are Not you serious? Laugh. I was just like, what? Like, are you serious? And then the constant updates, I was just like, what the? Like, girl, you should have went immediately to the fucking hospital. I would not have shed, shed, uh, shared that on, That's on social thing media. That's another too. I mean, I guess she probably was just like... I mean, the first place, I, the first place, if I were to do something like that, the first place I'm not going to is social media. Yeah, I probably call one of our friends like, "Yo, I did some stupid shit." I'm calling, right? <laughs> hey, I'm calling my friends, and I'm calling Poison Control. And I'm going, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm and then I'm, yeah, that. and I'm going to the hospital. Now I'm calling Poison Control <laughs> because obviously, because I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Sis went to the hospital, so we'll see what's. She like. probably gonna have to shave that off. First of all, that's even if a fucking shave thing could get on that yeah because i'm trying to figure out how can they because i know it's is strong it is because i know with crazy glue you could use um acetone like mm-hmm. they say when you get it stuck on your finger you use that to remove it so i don't know what tricks you could do to remove gorilla glue because that shit is stronger than fucking crazy glue so Girl. Maybe in the hospital they they putting their brains together trying to figure out because there's also you know what? There's a, a sign from the got to be. There's also um, was it gorilla the moco gel? She oh probably, yeah, she, she probably, probably thought, thought it was that. that. I forgot all about that gel. I mean, she still should be reading shit, but she should because that one has the gorilla on it, mm-hmm. and it's the sub the substance is the same as got to be. So damn, maybe she thought that. I wish her the best, and I hope that. A miracle will happen for that young lady, and her hair could get saved. If not, sis, it's gonna be a minute. Should they do some testing though? Because that shit going in her scalp, like, and that shit is going into your, like your brain, like. But I also, she said that her hair been like that for a fucking month. So she, so it, this, I thought it was a few days. I don't think so because what I saw from what she said, she wrote that this is how her hair has been for a month now. So you I guess that's known. probably why she was like, oh, let me go. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. But that's what I read. And I was just like, not a fucking month. <laughs> like, what? Child. Mm. I, I just, I would never get it. Good luck, baby girl. Luck. <laughs> I would never get it. Good luck. That's all I got to say. Mm. But it seemed like people on Twitter was tired of her, though. Like, some people was finding it funny, but for the most part, a lot of people were just like, this is fucking stupid. Like, why? Why would you do that? So, I don't think hers is going... I mean, it went viral, but it don't seem like... It went viral because of the, obviously, the stupidity behind it. (laughs) But, I don't know. This is what I'm talking about. Like, at what age do you, like, start using common sense? Like, or at what point does one and two click? 
Like my mom used to always say, common sense ain't so common. Well, they need to call it something else because I, I, I can't take it anymore. There's certain things I'm just like, come on, for goodness sake, seriously? How do you even think of this? Some people, honestly, before I used to always be like, really? Like, I could never like wrap my brain around it, but... Oh, that's a better solution. Oh, you could have put it closer. No, I don't want that to be... um, Yeah, I put it at the angle. So the table's at an angle, so this is closer to me. That's Mm -hmm. at a, you know, see y'all. I always push it like this and move it in. Yeah. Yeah, I used to just... I just was like, why? What? Like, how do you not... Like, if I can comprehend this, how come you can't comprehend this? If I could think this way, how come you don't think this way? And I, it was a hard lesson that I had to learn mm. that everybody is just not like you. So, yeah, you may have common sense, but some people just don't have it. What do people that's like me? Comment below. Because there'd be a lot of <laughs> shit that I'd be like, but this doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing this? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Ciao. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. Those are going to be the people we're going to leave behind? That's funny because that's what I said to uh, my cousin. Because <laughs> when I went to go get um, the COVID test, and I'm sitting there, and, you know, they put a sign, and it said, you know, we'll be back shortly. And mm-hmm. the lady, she's really nice. So this woman comes in, she sees the sign, and she mm-hmm. sees nobody's, you know, coming yet, so she sits down. So then this group of three people come in, a young kid, a woman, and a guy. So... She steps out, the kid sits down, the guy sits down, but he, the kid sits like on this side, the guy's over there, so he's like, oh, come closer, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So the woman comes back and, you know, obviously the receptionist nurse, whatever you want to call it, I don't know what her specific title is, she hadn't come back yet. So this chick is knocking on the fucking glass like she fucking 5 even with them having a sign Yes, saying, girl. Oh. So, you know, immediately I texted my cousin and I was just like, yo, this bitch is fucking like doing the most and she's ghetto. Like, you see the sign and you can't wait. And mind you, they had just walked in. It literally was in a span of probably five minutes. How impatient can you possibly be? Just fucking wait. She was knocking like, like, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? Like you dumb, you mad corny. So then that's when I wrote. I was like, "This is these are these people are part of the group of people that need to be left behind." Absolutely, especially if there's a sign there. Like the people just walk in, they can't put their coat down, they can't sanitize themselves first before they sit down. Like you just, what are you in a rush for? I was just like, "What the hell?" I didn't like her vibe anyway. She was giving me. Was she giving real ratchet vibes? Yeah. Just how she was talking. I thought that was her son, but it was her nephew. Because when I was talking to the lady, she just kept saying to him, like, stop looking in that direction. Stop looking in that direction. I'm just like, what? Like, what? Like, what are you talking about, you dumb hoe? Oh. People are just weird, oh, I tell you. Oh, Not the microphone. <laughs> Those are the people that... She Latino or black? She was black. Yeah, sometimes y'all be embarrassing me, mm-hmm. my people. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. Like, it just be embarrassing. It is. Because it's just like, yo, we don't claim y'all. We definitely don't. The, those are the those are the, the house niggas. That's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with my Phil niggas, all right? Those are the ones that just be like, <laughs> we ain't with the shits. It's true. Oh, it is Black uh, History Month. It <laughs> is. Happy Black History Month. Yo, I was fucking dying because I don't know if you've seen that thing where they was Chloe. Chloe. Oh my God. They was dragging Chloe Kardashian because she put the oh, color emoji. She didn't care because she posted in her caption a picture talking about, oh, the shade of it all. Like, she's just, she just, she don't give a shit. I was just like, this, I, I can't. But I'm like, not on Black History Month. We ain't going to do this on Black History exactly. Month. Exactly. Did you see the. <laughs> Justina sent it to me and it was oh yeah I read it to you duh in the bible whatever oh that, that. <laughs> yeah I'm like Twitter yeah I gotta chill yeah I gotta chill so I, I've been off Twitter for a little bit and then I had got back on I was like damn I miss Twitter so much cause <laughs> it's so much funny shit on I there I miss Twitter so much like I had saw 
uh, what was it? The New York Post he had tweeted some nigga fucking swallowed his AirPods while he was asleep. How did he do that? I have no idea. I retweeted. I was like, how? Like, did you have them in your hand? Like, how do you swallow your AirPods in your sleep? Wow. That's weird as hell. They, I'm sure they had to pump his stomach to get that shit out. What the hell? You how think do you- he had to shit it out? Probably. Is there an update? I don't know. I, just, I didn't click on an article. I just, I saw the headline. I was like, what the fuck? And then I just kept scrolling. Well, I retweeted it and I kept scrolling. Because I should have read it to figure out, like, how the fuck he did that. What the hell? But then again, I don't even think they know how he did it. Because I'm sure a person is not like, yeah, let me swallow these $200 fucking headphones for fun. But then it's like, how did you figure out, how did you know that you swallowed? I, I got to go back. Yeah, that is true. How did, unless imagine he played, he was looking for it and he probably played something in his, his started, stomach. Because <laughs> I seen something on TikTok where a dog swallowed AirPods mm-hmm. and it was playing. But then mm-hmm. I was like, is that really it playing or is this the audio that's making it seem, seem like, like it? it? So I wasn't too sure. Because you know how we see in the movies, like, you swallow some shit and then they play it or the noise or whatever. And it's like, you could hear it coming from inside of a person. So, who knows? I just thought that was interesting because I was like, who does that? I mean, why are you sleeping with your headphones? Yeah. Like. <laughs> how is it going to even stay in? I can't. People are weird. I was just like, okay. <laughs> That's some weird ass shit. Child. I'm going to look that up later. Like, oh, what happened? What had happened was... I'm going to send it to you because I could. I, I think I could just go back to my tweets because I retweeted it. Because I was just like, what? What in the... Child. What? In Any the... plans for a V-Day? I will be on vacation. Okay. So. <laughs> you going to take nice pictures? Mm, I don't know. You just take pictures. Put on your gram. I don't put content on my gram, y'all. <laughs> yeah, because the last picture she got from there is when she George was in France. No, my birthday in George I'm Floyd. saying of you. My birthday. Was it? Yes. Oh, yeah, you did post those pictures. Mm-hmm. Why well, I'm still thinking about the picture. You know why? Because you had that France pitch up there for mad long. Yeah, because e- but even when I had my old Instagram before I left in IG, I didn't really post pics like that. Like, I was just, even on Facebook, I would just make an album, boom, that'll be it. <laughs> and then the next go around, when I'm out having fun taking pics and create another album, boom. Like, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know, y'all. I just don't care to be posting IG pics. Got it. So, after, who knows, what, George Floyd is the recent... So maybe it'll be like a birthday pic or something. That'll be the next picture. <laughs> maybe like a whole year later. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, damn, a whole year later. <laughs> ah, a whole a whole year later. So, hmm. but I post my shit on my stories though. It's funny because yeah, I post do. pictures of myself, throwback stuff like that, more on my stories. Yeah, that I than I do like on the actual page. Hmm. <laughs> Which is so funny. It is. But yeah, know. I mean she's the queen of content, so yeah, y'all could. That's only because... go like her pics, go follow her <laughs> YouTube channel, Skylar Zo. Oh, um, she's so sweet. Twitter, Skylar Zo. Instagram, Tyler. Oh, uh, Tyler, Skylar Zo. <laughs> oh, wow, not Tyler. I can't. Um, Ooh, don't be bringing up people from the grave, child. <laughs> Whoa, that is not the grave. I can't with you. Um, uh, and think, <laughs> you're dumb, and that I'm dumb. Is, I think that's all her social media accounts, y'all. Yeah, I can't wait to. She um, posting some. She posts some. Yeah, fo- and subscribes, comment. Would I be subscribe. posting? What you what funny shit you was about no, to I was, say? I was, I was, see, I was gonna say no funny shit. It's because she always be playing around. That's why. <laughs> what you was about to? No, I was gonna say she be posting fire shit on her YouTube. So you know oh, she's thank you. She's branching. You know branching. <laughs> so, I saw that 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 what is it the when you buy clothes you haul. oh my U haul thing. I was like come through over a thousand fucking likes. <laughs> I think it was views. Oh, views. It was okay. like one point. Was it one was point like, something? Build it up. 
I think it's because the lingerie part. Because oh. it was a lot of guys writing comments too. And I was just like, oh, yeah, some creeps. That's oh. why I ain't turn around. Damn. Okay. Well, one, because I ain't want YouTube to ban my fucking ass. And two, yeah. But I was just like, I can't. But you know what? Thank you for the views. That's going to help me exactly. to monetize my YouTube soon. Exactly. So, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, I keep liking it. Keep, but my subscribers went up a lot too. Good. Subscribe, like, comment, like, oh, shit. do all of that. And do that for our page too, just the podcast. Yes. You know? I can't wait to put like some more great stuff on my Instagram, like when school starts. Oh, yeah. Because I can like record like the stuff that I do. And then like we have like photo shoots like for our portfolio. So I'm just so excited. That's, yeah, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be dope. So, oh, shit, stay tuned, y'all. Stay right? tuned. Stay tuned. I'm just excited for this makeup discount. Oh, I get a discount? Yeah, we get makeup. Sephora? I think Sephora and I think like other places. Because I remember a while back, like years ago, I don't know if it was MAC or some makeup brand. And on the bottom, they were like, oh, if you're a makeup student, you could get a discount. But I think you have to put like, I'm sure it's something for them to verify that you go to that school. Mm -hmm. Probably like an ID or something. Yeah. But I know, I think Sephora do it too. And like other places, they give you um, discounts. Did they if you're a makeup artist, gonna be? Um, I know some places it's like ten. Ten. Some of them are like ten percent, but I don't know if that's like the standard for every place. But yeah, if you're a makeup artist or you go to makeup school, a lot of places they give you discounts. And here I am talking about it better be more than twenty percent. I can't with these people. <laughs> All the money y'all I mean, gain, y'all can't give me at least at least thirty, forty percent. I agree. I agree. Sure. Come on. So now. I gotta see like. Once I'm in school, like, what's mm-hmm. the discounts looking at? But I'll take it. That's true. I mean... Because when it adds up yeah, 10%, it which does, is a lot, mm-hmm. it does take something. That is true. That is true. So if I have a makeup problem then, I'm going to definitely have a makeup problem yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited for you. Can't I'm wait to hear. Too. Yeah, because I'm going to be practicing on your faces. Oh, shit. I'm going to turn her into a zombie. Oh, you know how I would like that. <laughs> Oh, you ain't like Halloween now, then she's gonna definitely like it when I can't. Yeah, that because I feel like that's fun because I love zombie movies. So I'm gonna be like, that's why I'm gonna do a Michael Jackson TikTok (laughs) and go viral. This is thriller. (laughs) (laughs) So I got a few people that I'm like, hey, when it's time for me to do special effects, I cannot wait. We practice. I can't wait. I can't. So I'm excited for that. I can't wait. I can't wait. No, I can't wait. Yo, the way my underarms are sweating right now, mm. the Child. heat is like blasting today. I can fall in love. Did you watch the the series on Netflix? Netflix? What? Hell no. <laughs> I was, why you said it like that. Listen, y'all. I love Selena. Selena's. Nah, negative. I'm good with the movie, and that's that. People were making fun of um, her hair because it was like, when did Selena hair was like this? Was it like a short haircut or something like it that? It looked like a mullet. You, okay. Yeah, I, I'm good. I was just like, mm. I mean, I know like obviously Selena was a person before all the hype and fame. But then at the same time, because what? In the movie, we got her when she was a little kid. Mm-hmm. That was kind of like a very short portion. And then the next thing you know, she had like a bob yeah. haircut. And she was doing performances. And then from then on, we're like, what? Mullet? When the hell did you have that? So yeah. who knows? Maybe after the bob, there was a period that she... And we've never... I've not ever seen any pictures of Selena with a mullet. Me either. I've never seen it. So I, I don't know. My don't issue know. is just like, I'm tired of these um, production companies making... Like remakes or reboots, it's like just leave it alone. Like exactly, J Lo did a wonderful job as Selena. That movie is like a classic. It goes mm-hmm. down with like the Godfather's, you know, all Everything, the yeah, yeah, all the classic movies and stuff. Yeah, I need to remake that over at all. Like completely unnecessary. So mm. I don't know. Don't let the unnecessary occur. Yep. Okay, look at you knowing the words. 